<laughs> How are you guys? I'm medium. I get there's so much stuff to do in regular life and like the idea of going and uh and like one, two, three, four, ta -ta 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 -ta. <laughs> It seems like very distant. Doesn't it seem like really easy in comparison to oh, yeah, <laughs> the yeah, rest yeah. of life? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to I think stress it... out about shows and about everything and I don't, there's no stress. It's way easier than what I'm doing now. There's very little personal <laughs> danger to me. Like the chance of me getting trampled on stage <laughs> is low. <laughs> it, it wasn't always that way though. You know, that's, that's true. A high risk. Well, we were just talking to you off air, and apparently the risk of you getting trampled by a bunch of cows is a big thing. That's a common that's a common thing in my life, actually. See, I'm just emotionally trampled because I have a, a <laughs> almost a, almost a three-year-old. So it's like I'm working so hard, and then she comes up to me, she goes, This isn't your house, this is my house and your mom and mom's house, and then closes the door and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> that is a gutsy yeah. kid right like <laughs> scraping scraping lead paint off an old window and like cool <laughs> <laughs> there was moments uh last week while moving rafters onto the top of a barn i was thinking i'm a bass player you know i really am a bass player here i am i can do this <laughs> i can do this job i can do lots of lots of other jobs I can herd cattle, I can do all those things, but in the end, I'm a bass player doing all those things. And that's a difficult, difficult place to, uh, of acceptance to come to. Uh -huh. My dad was a musician, and one time he had to fill out some government form, and the government person was filling it out for him. And they asked him what he did. He said he was a musician, and he watched this woman write unemployed on the form. <gasps> wow. <laughs> But that was a great lesson to learn when I, to, or to hear when I was a kid, because that's basically how people see you, mm -hmm. you know, like my grandfather used to tell me all the time, son, you must get a real job. And then I guess one year I forgot his birthday. I looked at my wallet. I had 200 bucks. I stole an envelope from his bedroom, wrote happy birthday, stuck it in there. And then I got a call the next day. Oh, I was never worried about you. <laughs> You're always my favorite grandson. I was like, it, the whole tone changed. He never told me to get a job. He stopped giving me the employment news. So how do you say your three-year-old daughter says, Daddy, I want to be a musician. How do you how do you go through those times, though, when it gets tough and you're looking for maybe I want to be in a steady job and I don't want to be unknown of being a musician? Both of my children want to be musicians. One of them has actually been performing for a while. And I told her, I'm like, look, that's totally fine. But you have to become a certified electrician first. Because <laughs> once you're an electrician... You can just work whenever you want. You, you need money. No one's going to No, There's never a time when people don't need electricians. Obviously, that's great dad advice. But I was uh, I was outside of my mother-in-law's house a few months ago and her neighbor, who's a U of T professor, you know, he's had a great life and he and he's, you know, does cool things. And he and he said, Sebastian, come here. I've got a question for you. When you started doing this, did you have a did you have a backup plan? And I said, nope. And he went didn't think so and he walked away kind of wistfully like maybe <laughs> yeah back a plan was the thing that he did his whole life you know oh wow yeah. that's crazy so good advice for your child is have a backup plan but i didn't have one and you guys freaking made it so if anything <laughs> don't have a back don't have a backup plan all Jump this head first and whatever you, have to yeah. <laughs> you could have all this stuff <laughs> empty shelves we are so excited for you guys to come to town so october 14th you're going to be in toronto hopefully you can stop by the studios one of these days now that the world is open back up again we would love to have you in the studio anytime boys like honestly anytime open invite the door is open for death yeah, from you're above. gonna regret saying that let's let's take them up on that let's just yeah. do it. hi can hi. can we get a hot meal <laughs> we I, have we were I was told you're serving was stew <laughs> warm at best a yeah, little warm guys thank you so much for taking the time we appreciate it and we cannot wait to see you guys play thank you thank you can't wait to see you guys